All right there guys and welcome back to another daisy tutorial so i want to provide to you a loading screen pbo where you can easily set up a custom loading screen uh, on your daisy server now uh, i'll also show you the steps and show you what you need to do it's really so simple i think from what i've seen on like youtube and that this is probably the most simplest method that you can actually do um it skips out one or two little steps um but yeah um but like i said it's gonna be nice and simple now couple of things that you're going to need you are going to need a program called pbo manager or something that you can extract pbos now pbo manager i find is just nice and simple and works like a charm so i would suggest get this now um i can provide you a zip file where you can just unzip it and then install the the correct version there's a 64-bit version and a 32 inside this zip file so you can extract this and install the correct version or I can just, or I will, not just or, but I will provide you a link in the description where you can go and just download this yourself without me sending you the zip file. Now, the other thing you're going to need to do is join my Discord. Um, and in there, create a ticket and then ask me to send you the loading screen PBO. And also, if you want it, the zip file for PBO manager. Now, once you've got everything sorted and set up and you're happy, you can leave Discord. I don't expect you to stay, but via Discord is the only way I'm going to send this. It's just a nice, easy way of sending it rather than just uploading it to some sort of site where you can just download it from a site. I can just send it you directly. Okay, next thing you need to do is you're going to need a mod pack. Now, if you haven't got a mod pack for your server, like your own mod uh, for your server, um, I will put in the description a link where uh, it shows you how easy it is to set up a mod folder. Uh, where you need to install daisy tools and the process of all that um in like install a p drive and everything really simple now also with daisy tools there's going to be a couple of things you're going to need in there uh, for this video you're going to need something called text view uh dsu tools and the publisher that is all built within um with all built within daisy tools now um but when you watch the video where it shows you to set up a mod folder, you'll see all that anyway. But I'll also show you some of it in this video. Right, okay. Now, providing you set up a mod folder, you've got your add-ons folder, you've got your keys folder, you've got everything set up. What you want to do is basically come back to this video and, you know, do as I say. Ask for a this in the ticket, this loading screen PBO, and if you want it, the PBO manager. Once you've got this PBO manager, we're going to need to extract it. And the best way is with this PBO manager. So you can simply right click on it. Now, once you install PBO manager, you should get it in this list. So once you right click on this, in this list, you should get a thing called PBO manager. Um, my friend installed it the other day and he had it in this list. So it should automatically come in this list. If it doesn't, um, come and speak with me on Discord and we can figure out um, why and how to get you going further. Uh, but you should automatically get it in this list just to make it simpler. Uh, you can, I believe, search for it in your search bar and search for it installed programs, but it should be in this list. So right click on it, go to PBO Manager and extract a loading screen. And then this will put it in a loading screen folder. Just as we got here on the left, let's just drag it over, put it there. Now we get this folder. Now if you just open up the folder and then inside there, you, the only thing you need is data. So if you open up the data folder and then we've got a blank .paa. So this is going to be the actual loading screen. This is the file. Um, so to make this simple, what I like to do is I right click on it, I copy it, and I'll paste this to my desktop. Now I've already, uh, no, no, I don't have it here. I thought I already had it here, but I don't. If I right click and paste, it's going to um, paste the, the blank .pa file on my desktop. Now, don't worry if you have a different symbol than this, as long as it says blank .paa. Yeah, you're good to go. Um, mine's taking the symbol from a program called what I use or of PBA project. But once we've got this file, now I use GIMP to do all my like load screens and stuff like that. A lot of people will use Photoshop or other programs and they might work differently, but GIMP doesn't open up PAA files. So if you've used a program that doesn't um, open up PAA files, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to change it to a PNG. So what I do, is I normally right click and go to open with text view 2. Uh, now mine's only in this list because I use it quite a lot. For you, if yours is not in the list, if you go to your Steam and you should have already have Daisy Tools installed because you need to install it to make your mod folder and, and the P drive, 
Um, I just got Steam open up on my other monitor, but I'm just opening up Daisy Tools. I'll open this up, and we've opened it up here. And what I'm going to do is you can click Text View this way. So for me, when I right click on it, I get it in my list. So it's nice and simple because I use it all the time. For you, you might not get that. So just open up Daisy Tools, click on Text View, and open it up this way. And then once we've got text view open, go to file, open, and then we want to find um, where we put that folder. And for me, it's on the desktop, so I'll just click desktop, and it was called blank.paa. And we've already got a blank PNG file there because I've already tried to do this tutorial many times before. Uh, but get the blank.paa file, and we're just going to go open. And I'll provide you with this. It's obviously distorted the quality is not great it's just an image i got off um the internet just for test purposes just to provide you with something so you can get the template uh the size of the load screen file that you need so you'll get this and then what we're going to need to do is going to need to um save this file as a png so in text view once we've got it open go file save as and then where it says blank.paa just change the name to png and again I like to work off my desktop because it's nice and simple. If you are got OCD and you like things organized, put it in a folder, put it wherever, as long as you know where it is. For me, it's just going to be on my desktop. Now, I've already got a file called blank PNG. So that when I click save, it's going to, for me, it's going to say it already exists. So I'm just going to replace it and I'm going to click yes. For you, you probably won't already have a file called that on your desktop. Right, we'll close out of text view too. I don't need that now. Now we've got my blank PNG file there, or, you know, I already had it there before. Now, with GIMP, I can open up PNG files. So this is where you would use, um, if your photo editing software doesn't use PA, it doesn't open up PA files, this is where you'd use your photo editing software to open up the PNG. Right, now we're going to open this up. I'm going to just open up with GIMP. Now, I'm not going to show you how it all works or anything like that, and because especially if you're using Photoshop or something different, they're all different. They all work different. But I'll show you the basics of what you need to do. So let's just open this up. I should have already had this opened already. Right, there we go. And then I'm just going to... Okay, there's an update. I'll do that later. Right, and we've opened up here. And we've got the layer here. We've got the image. Now, for me on GIMP, my layer is on the right here. So I can just delete that layer. And what this does, this will give me the window, this little this box thing where we would put our load screen in. And this is going to give us a good size, good scale of what we need to do. So for you, you would then open up your image or images, you know, depending on how many layers you have. But you'd open up what you would have as your load screen there. Um, so I'm just going to uh, edit Control and Z that to edit undo that. But basically, if you delete the current layer that's in there like I did. So, you know, again, just for me, delete layer. And then you've got a blank canvas. So this is where you'd put in your edits your low screen, what you want there. And then obviously keep it into this full scale of the box. Once you're happy, so let me undo that again. So say this was the final picture, okay? Obviously for you, it's not gonna be, this is just a test. Say this is the final image that you want. In your photo editing software, uh, for me, GIMP, I can save, but I can't save as a PNG. I have to export. So for me in GIMP, I will go to export as and then I'll just keep it as the same name, blank.png. So I'm going to do that. And it says it's already exists on the thing. So I'm going to click just replace. Now for me, it's the same picture. We'll click export there. For me, it's the same picture. For you, it'll be a different picture. It'll be a different load screen. Um, but just, you know, replace the old file name with a new one that will contain your new image or your new load screen. Right, I can close out of GIMP now. Uh, and once you've got your newly updated blank.png load screen file, what we want to do is open this back up with text view. So I've still got TZ tools open here, so I'm going to click text view, file, open. And like I said, you know, I know it's the same picture, I've not changed nothing. I'm just trying to show, show you the process. Right, we'll open that up, and then you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out to see it. You know, make sure you're happy with everything. And then we're going to go file. Save as, and I'm going to change the blank.png back to a, a blank.paa. I'm going to click save. And again, this file already exists, exists on my desktop, so I'm just going to replace it. And that's it. And then we can close out of that. And to test 
to make sure you've got the correct load screen, the, the correct final version. Again, you get your blank.pa file, the one that you've just overrided. Um, right click on it and you can open it up in text view. And, you know, we've got the picture. So as long as your final blank.pa file is the correct picture there, you're good to go. Whatever you've edited, we are then good to go. Right, now what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to put this blank, uh, not this one, this blank.pa file back into this loading screen folder. Let me just close out of these a minute just to minimize that. Right, we'll open up the loading screen folder. We'll go back into the data folder and we'll replace this blank.pa file with the new one. So I'm just going to click and drag and pop it in there and replace the destination. And again, I know it's the same picture. I've not changed nothing, but just showing you the process. Right, once we've done that, we're good to go. Now, you can change the name of this PA. Um, so for me, on my server files, I've called this loading screen.pa. So if you do change the name of the PA, do make sure it's .pa at the end. But if you change the main name, if you go back to the loading screen folder, go into the scripts folder, go into three game, and go into this modded daisy game.c file there is three locations so near the top here you've got this line and then we've got the the file path so loading screen data blank.pa change the word blank to whatever you rename your pa file to uh, if we scroll down a bit we've got the same there on this line so just change the word blank to whatever you've named your file and again at the bottom do it there there's three places you need to change it so as long as this name matches this blank.pa matches the name of your actual pa file that is in the data folder you're good to go but just to keep it simple just keep it as blank um you'd, if you keep it as blank you don't need to go into the script folder and all this you don't need to change anything okay uh that's how simple it it, it is just keep the word blank and then you're good to go. Right, once we've updated the blank.pa file in here, once we've got the new version in there, we're ready to pack this. So if we close this down, I'm going to right click on this folder, go back to PBO Manager, and then we get an option to pack into loading screen.pbo. Choose that option. So let's click on that. It now is packed into a new PBO and it's moved over onto the left side here. So let's just drag it back over. It'll create a loading screen.pbo.back file. You can just delete that. You don't need it. And this loading screen folder, again, we can just delete that because that's got the previous, oh no, that's got the stuff in that we just edited. But if we need it back, we can just unpack the PBO. So we've got our new PBO. Right. Now, what we need to do is this PBO will need to go into uh, your add ons folder for your mod. So let me just make sure I'm at my P drive. Uh, just put that there a minute. And then we're going to open up my file explorer. And we're going to go to my P drive. So for me, my mod folder is this one. Lift slide mod pack. I'm just going to open it up. And inside your add-ons folder, for you, you'll probably have nothing here. Um, if this is your first time, you know, creating a mod folder, etc. Um, if you've already got a mod folder and you've got other stuff, then you're going to know how this all works. But what you're going to need to do is put this loading screen PBO into your add-ons folder for your mod pack. I've already got it down here. As you can see, your loading screen.pbo. Once you've got that PBO in there, right, now we're going to need to sign a key to it. So we can just close out of this, back into Daisy Tools, and go to DSU Tools. Now... You're going to need to set up a key and everything, but again, um, I think it's all in the one video. If I've created multiple videos showing you this, I'll put links to videos where I show you how to set up a key um, and get all this side working. Now, um, but you can see I've already got a key, private key and everything. I've already got the file path. But for me, once you've got this, once you set up your key and you set up your file path and everything, if you click add source directory, oh, before we do that, Make sure these two boxes are ticked. Sign file list, override signatures. Just make sure them two boxes are ticked. Once you've done that, add source directory. Find where your mod folder is, so your P drive, the name of your mod folder, and then add-ons, and then click OK. And this will bring up all your PBOs that you've got in your mod folder or inside your add-ons folder. And then 
what you need to do then is just click process files and click yes on that this is going to sign all the keys to each of the pbos uh, i've got 28 files if you've only got one thing or a couple of things you know it's going to be a bit quicker uh, but this should hopefully say depending on how many files you've got in here this needs to say they're all successfully signed right once we've done that we can close out of dsu tools and then we're going to need to go to a publisher but what we will do just to make sure everything is all signed we're going to open up my p drive again go to the mod pack go to add-ons and all my main pbos will have a buy sign they'll all be signed um and include in the loading screen they'll all have a buy sign so do make sure all your pbos have a buy sign right close out of that go back to publisher now if this is your first time creating a mod um you're going to need to do a couple of things so inside the name give it a name uh visibility put that to public item type keep that as mod um and then where this section which says files mod content you click on this folder and you would select your mod folder don't need to select add-ons or your keys or anything just select where your mod folder is and press select and this should say mod content structure seems valid signatures all signed so as long as you see that you're good to go um i'm just going to click on my mod on the left here um because i already set it up uh but again you know just click on that all signed now for your first time uh you don't need to put a description you can do uh you can also write change loads if you update your mod and stuff but then you need to click i agree with steam work license now, for you, if this is your first time having a mod folder, this might not say update, this will say publish. So click publish, let it publish. It should take a few seconds or so. Once it's published, close out of this and then come back into Daisy Publisher and basically repeat the steps. Click on your mod on the left so it comes up there. Uh, make sure this should all stay the same, public and mod. Make sure you click on the mod content, link your mod content, and then back down and click I agree. And instead of saying publish, it will then say update. You want to update it and make sure um, it's updated. That will give all the correct files into your mod folder that you're going to need. Okay. Um, if it's not your first time creating a mod and you see update, then you only need to do this part once. Once you updated it, make sure um, on your Steam client, your actual like Steam files, you've updated the mod. Go and install the mod on your server and make sure everything's updated there and you'll be good to go and when you load in today z you'll have a load screen um so i'm hoping that is really simple um if you've got any questions like i said you're going to be in my discord anyway uh so come and speak to me if anything is confusing but that's how simple it is um but yeah the, the, i think the difficult part of that is you know create your know, actual load screen uh, that i can't really show because it's up to you how you want your load screen and what program you use uh, but yeah, that's it. Until next time, guys, have fun, peace out, and I'll catch you next time.